What's up, folks? It's the Frisco Roamer. By looking at the clips, you might think I'm about to share some beautiful destinations in Southeast Asia. But believe it or not, these clips were taken in Northern California. I'm part of a few SF travel forums, and oftentimes tourists who come to San Francisco ask about visiting Yosemite or Monterey County, which are great destinations, and I encourage you to go if that's what you added to your itinerary. Today, I want to introduce you to the beauty of Mendocino County, perhaps a less well-known destination. If you already know of it, I'd like to share a few locations that can be added to any existing itinerary. And these locations can be done with families, couples, or singles of all ages. This video caters to travelers who like nature, exploring, hiking, beaches, peace, and quiet. But where is Mendocino County? From San Francisco, we drove north to our home base, Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg is a cute little quiet town with not much to do, but it's relaxing and small with some interesting shops and restaurants. Next, we went to Glass Beach, which was a disappointment. Not because it was ugly, but because I expected this. I didn't take any clips of Glass Beach, but beaches nearby that I thought were better. If you expect the beach to look like this, forget about it. Visitors come with bags and buckets to collect what little glass is left on the beach. This area was a mere 10 minutes walk from our hotel in Fort Bragg, so not a huge loss and still fun to explore, and it was beautiful. Later we went to Fort Bragg's wharf area for some scrumptious seafood. Next, some hiking in Jug Handle State Natural Reserve. And some more hiking at Russian Gulch State Park. Finally, we explore Portuguese Beach, the coastline, and Mendocino Town. There's quite a bit of wildlife to be seen on this trip. And then it's coasting back to the city. All right, let's go over a bit of information. The area has a mild Mediterranean climate with winter rainfall and spring and summer fog that usually burns off by mid-morning. In the summer, temperatures are in the low 60s and winters range from the 40s to the mid 50s. I found the area to be safe and people were friendly and willing to share information about locations. The whole trip was three days and two nights. We came here during the summer in June. Now that we got that out of the way, let's check out some of these destinations in greater detail. The wharf area was small and fairly interesting. There wasn't much to do, but we didn't come here to explore. We came here to eat. Quite a bit of restaurants to enjoy here. There are some gluten-free alternatives as well. Jug Handle State Natural Reserve has a pretty easy hike that goes inland where huge redwoods mingle with a pygmy forest. It also has beach access. We chose to hike first before going to the beach. Let's check it out. We wanted to hike the Fern Canyon Trail. Thing is, a park ranger told me every park has a Fern Canyon Trail. This particular Fern Canyon Trail has a nice waterfall and resides in Russian Gulch State Park. You could easily hike to the waterfall and back, but we hiked to the waterfall and returned the same way for a bit, only to take a trail that rose above the original trail. I enjoyed the trail to the falls more, but I would prefer to explore other trails than go back the way I came. Both are about the same length. Again, we hiked before going to the beach here. Let's explore.
final destination was Portuguese Beach. I really liked the beach at Russian Gulch. I asked a local about their favorite beaches here and they told me about the Portuguese Beach. I put in my cords and we stopped by this beach and to explore the surrounding area. Portuguese Beach did not disappoint with its beautiful looking water, morning fog, caves, and kelp forests. After exploring the beach, we decided to hit some trails. The trails were flat, and if looking inland, the scenery was like this. But stick to the coast for views like this, and this, and that, and even this. Afterwards, we explored a bit of Mendocino. Well, there you have it. This is just some of the beauty of Mendocino County. I hope I have not only given you a new destination to visit, but also some interesting options for your next trip to Northern California. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, don't hesitate to like and subscribe. Peace and keep being curious.